Viewer discretion is advised. Alinda takes the dagger from Antonio. She cuts Antonio's throat. Ropes drop from the roof of the stage, a noose for each cast member. Hello everybody, I'm The Rubber. Today, we bring you SCP Foundation Euclid Class Object, SCP-701. SCP-701, The Hanged King's Tragedy, is a Caroline-era revenge tragedy in five acts. The play is set in the Kingdom of Trinculo. As the play opens, Forza, the King of Trinculo, has died. While the circumstances of his death remain unknown, it is said that he passed away from natural causes while on retreat from the court. The nobility of Trinculo gathers in the capital for the coronation of the new king, Forza's younger brother, Gonzalo. The soon-to-be king has also married Forza's queen, Isabella. Performances of the play are associated with sudden psychotic and suicidal behavior amongst both observers and participants, as well as the manifestation of a mysterious figure classified as SCP-701-1. The anomalous psychotic event always leads to a human sacrifice, killing all performers and audience members. In short, SCP-701 is a self-evolving mimetic virus that is transmitted through unknown means as the text of the play are spoken in words and acted out physically. 36.78% of all performances of The Hanged King's Tragedy will end with an outbreak. According to historical records and investigations, these outbreaks generally follow the same pattern. During the dress rehearsal period, which is held 14 days prior to the event, cast members will begin to spontaneously deviate from the published text of the play. Rather than through improvisation or gaffes associated with going off script, deviations will be both orderly and consistent, as if the actors were working off a new version of the script. The cast and production crew will seem unaware of any changes, and if these changes are brought to their attention, they often claim that the play has run that way from the beginning. The outbreak generally occurs during opening night, or else at the production with the greatest planned attendance. Then, in the final scene of Act 1, 701-1 begins to appear on stage, generally in the background or to the side of the main action. The cast does not appear to notice or comment on 701-1, at least at first. Usually, during the banquet scene in Act 5, 701-1 appears fully on stage. Here, it will be incorporated into the action of the play as the Hanged King. The cast will either murder each other or hang themselves on the spot, sometimes using items that seem to appear spontaneously on stage. Rioting breaks out in the audience, with viewers randomly attacking anyone in front of them, regardless of any prior relationship. Below is a full transcript of the tape recording found in a destroyed consumer-grade camcorder which was apparently recording the performance from a vantage point within the audience. The play begins with Gonzalo opening up with a toast to the assembled nobility before exiting the stage. Drunk on wine, Isabella confesses to some of the courtiers left on stage that Forza did not die in his sleep as reported. Instead, while on retreat in the countryside, Forza was fed a sleeping potion by Isabella, then murdered by Gonzalo and his supporters. As a final show of disrespect, the conspirators hanged the king like a common criminal from a tree. Isabella goes on to proclaim that Antonio, a minor noble, is actually her and Forza's son and their rightful heir to the throne. A possible sighting of 7011 during Isabella's ravings, an anomalous shadow not belonging to one of the cast members, shows up along the back wall of the set. Seconds later, the shadow disappears. Then, the first deviation from the text appeared. Rather than the dialogue between Antonio's servant, Francisco, and the courtesan, the curtain drops and comes back up on a bare stage. Antonio enters from stage right. The first indirect sighting of SCP-7011 begins when the shadow of a figure seems to appear on the back wall, from stage right. Antonio stops in place and acts surprised. The shadow disappears. Antonio begins a long soliloquy confirming that he now believes Isabella's story. Dr. J notes that while this soliloquy seems to be accurate in terms of Caroline-era dialogue, 
Antonio's speech in this scene does not exist in the original text. The curtain drops and then rises again on Francisco and the courtesan. Antonio returns. The play continues as scripted. This is where the first direct sighting of 7011 occurs. It enters and stands at the edge of stage left towards the end of Act 2. Gonzalo, having learned of Isabella's breakdown and confession, immediately begins to plan the murder or capture of the three witnesses in order to cover up the truth. He orders Isabella to be locked up in a convent, with the story put out that the queen is mad. He exits the stage from the left exit. 7011 seems to turn and follow him as the lights go down. The second sighting of 7011 occurs during Act 3. It appears on the edge of stage right as Gonzalo murders one of the witnesses, Sortino. The scene concludes with Gonzalo ordering his cooks to prepare Sortino's corpse as a stew. Scripts recovered from the scene indicate that this section supposedly had been cut out during rehearsal. The third sighting of 7011 occurs near stage left as Isabella prepares to murder Antonio using a draught of poison. Antonio sees through their plan and forces Isabella to drink the poison, killing her. The fourth sighting was when 7011 entered with Gonzalo at the beginning of Act 4 and followed him throughout the scene. The scene also contained two key moments. First, Gonzalo seems to nod to 7011 when he mentions he has, in exchange for an unstated tribute, obtained a powerful and tasteless poison from the ambassador of Algada. This is the first time a cast member has seemed to indicate 7011's presence. Gonzalo plans to poison the stew made from Sortino's corpse and feed it to the court, thus ensuring the suppression of the truth. Second, the scene ends with a deviation from the text, whereas the scripted speech at the end of Act 4 is supposed to end with Gonzalo considering his own moral iniquity, but Gonzalo, here, seems to be more concerned that his tribute will be sufficient for the ambassador. The lights go down. SCP-7011 enters again at the end of Act 4, as Antonio leaves to secure a blade for his coupe. Rather than exiting, Antonio stops in front of 7011, who hands him a long dagger. 7011 and Antonio depart the stage together. The lights come up. The guests arrive at Gonzalo's banquet, Gonzalo once again offers a toast. However, this time, he offers a toast to the ambassadors of the foreign nations who are present. The meal is served, but before it can begin, Antonio enters, bearing a piece of parchment. Here, the textual deviations begin in earnest. Rather than the parchment, which includes the details of Forza's murder and proof of Antonio's lineage as scripted, Antonio instead describes it as an invoice from the ambassador of Algada, proving that Gonzalo owes more tribute than he intends to pay. 7011 enters at this point from stage right. The entire cast seems to perceive it. Gonzalo stands up, curses as an aside to the audience, and runs for stage left. The rest of the cast, including Alinda and Francisco, who enter from stage left, physically restrain Gonzalo and drag him back onto the stage. 7011, meanwhile, moves to the center of the stage, where it stands in front of Gonzalo's throne. A noose is dropped onto the stage from above. The cast forces Gonzalo into the noose as he begins to curse in Italian. The noose is drawn out, and the cast drops Gonzalo. He begins to asphyxiate. Antonio speaks. With this, the tribute, in full, it is paid. He then takes the dagger and draws it across Gonzalo's stomach, spilling his intestines across the stage. Alinda takes the dagger from Antonio. She speaks. With this, fool's blood, it is the hanged king's. She cuts Antonio's throat. Ropes drop from the roof of the stage, a noose for each cast member. The cast assembles underneath them. Alinda takes position next to 7011. She speaks. With this, our blood, it is the hanged kings. The cast hang themselves. SCP-7011 moves through the hanging corpses into front center stage. The stage lights cut out. 
Sounds of screaming and physical violence can be heard around the camera. Then, there is a loud sound, most likely the camera being knocked over. If any of the audience members survive the initial outbreak, they may exit the performance hall, in which case they will continue to engage in random or opportunistic violence. Victims will generally require sedation or restraint in this scenario. Normal personality will begin to return roughly 24 hours after the event. Surviving victims will generally exhibit signs consistent with a traumatic experience. Some will have no recollection of the event. Others may be rendered permanently comatose or psychotic. Remember to check out my new animation channel, The Rubber Talks, where I share my life story, thoughts, and opinions. Just click on the link in the description to enter the rubber's world. Before we end this video, we are proud to present these incredibly sweet pieces of fan art. A big thank you to all of you. You can now send us your fan art, and we will be more than happy to show off your best art piece in our next video. Check out our description below on how to submit. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Which SCP do you want to see in the next video and why it is interesting? Let us know in the comment below. We will draw your story and share it with the world. Don't forget to click like, subscribe to the channel, and hit the bell. Please share it to your friends if you like this video. Thank you so much for watching, and we will see you in the next video. Bye-bye.